Homes and Gardens Live is such an amazing opportunity, obviously for me and the rest of the team. We can come down, we can meet our audience, we can meet the people who love everything we do on the show and who also love the magazine. You know, they get to interact with us all, they get to meet lots of people on the stands, they get more inspiration and more ideas. Well, we started with a fabulous magazine, then we went to a TV show, then of course we're online, we've got a great little radio program. It seemed the next best thing to do to have an event so that the readers of the magazine could actually engage with not only the TV presenters but the magazine editors and just be part of what Better Homes and Gardens is. I think exhibitors and key brands love the association of Better Homes and Gardens. To me it's a no-brainer, it's a trusted and respected brand and people just naturally want to be beside it so to have an event like this where you can actually be alongside all of the presenters, the magazine, it's just a great opportunity for everyone to be involved. There's Dr Harry outside with the pets and we all know how fabulously popular he is. Graham Ross is here, the garden guru of the world. We've got Fast Ed cooking all his wonderful recipes. Tara Dennis is doing craft and decorating and Jason Hodges is doing more gardening and landscaping ideas and Robbie Palmer, our chippy, is going to be making wonderful DIY projects. The best part about it is that we actually get to speak to our readers. We love our readers, we don't see them often enough, but when we come to something like this we're able to talk to, to hundreds, even thousands of them as we've been able to do over the event. It's been so busy, we've had hundreds of people come through, lots of people entering our competitions, it's been a great event. Ford and Better Homes and Gardens have a good partnership, we share the same demographic. By being in an exhibition like this they can interact with the cars in their own time and they can look at the features that they're interested in. I think a lot of people like to touch and feel our products and see it in action. So to be able to go from advertising in their Better Homes and Gardens magazines to bringing it to their live show is really important for Samsung. It means that we can demonstrate our technology and our launches to the public through print and then we can also make it live in the show. I haven't actually left the stand because I've been so busy. The traffic flow here has been fantastic. From my experience, I have found it very, very worthwhile being here. Just people coming up to touch and feel the product. It's so great to see people just wanting to play with the different software and applications on the PC. Anyone from the age of six years old all the way up to their late 60s coming and playing with our hardware and it's been fantastic. They've been incredibly responsive and everyone's keen to have a go. Well, I think it's the interaction with the general public is just so fantastic to have and everyone's excited to be here so yeah it's a great mix for us to come and be involved in such an event like this. We've got a whole range of customers coming through um, looking at the product, trying it, picking it up. Better Homes and Gardens was actually the first uh, company that brought our first property for youth off the streets down in the Southern Highlands and it's called Better Homes Farm and it's been there uh, since 1994. I entered through my dog, um, just entered all your details with your puppy's details and um, they contacted me and said that I'd won and that Coco could come in for a day of playing with other puppies and being pampered. We've learned a lot from all the stores and we've, we've learned from the people that actually make the, the products as opposed to just the shops, going to the shops, these people actually know what they're talking about so it's been very informative and we've uh, got some great ideas as well. There's been lots of things that we didn't know we needed but we now think we need, yeah. Do you ever do a barbecue? Fast Ed and we met Tara and Dr Harry. I really like the craft around here. I love yeah. the popcorn. <laughs> I was keen to look at the gardening um, exhibits and as you can see we bought quite a bit so yeah it's great. I enjoy the magazine and I was interested to see how they set it up today and it's been very impressive. Yeah, good fun. Well you get to see it in real life rather than see it on TV or on the magazine. You get to hold things and have a look at it. Lots of things to be done to the house so lots of great ideas to take home. She's uh, planning to keep me very busy over the summer, so a lot of good ideas to have a look at today. We've had a lot of people ask a lot of questions, um, and a lot of people say that they're going to try it out, so that's been fantastic. The mix of people here are phenomenal, as we have everything from young families with young children through to older people, all of whom have a direct interest in their homes. Associating with, directly with the people, that interaction,
Melbourne is fantastic. A great attendance and uh, great interest in our products. It's a really great great show here, and I think um, you know, Aussie Barbie is a perfect fit for me for with uh, better homes and gardens. It's a you know, it's a really really good show, and uh, we're happy to be here. Sunrise was here this morning, and it was on the Seven News last night. So, and that just creates credibility. This is the first year, and the numbers are fantastic. So just imagine what the numbers are going to be next year. A huge variety of things to see and do. Everybody has a smile on their face, everybody's happy, and it's just been a great event. We'll be coming back next year for sure. It's been an amazing day, and I think we're all looking forward to it next year as well already. We can't wait we to can't come, come back, back next year. Next year.